Hello, Drawing 2. Here's your first video for your first homework assignment in quarantine, your self-portrait. So we're going to talk a little bit about color in terms of naturalistic flesh tone. And I'm going to get started and then I'll do a time lapse video to show you guys how I resolve this piece for myself. A couple of quick things to consider with this. I would do a three quarter view, just like drawing one, in order to best take advantage of a sense of depth and volume in your portrait. I would remember the importance that color value plays in building form. Changing the hue from yellow to purple is not enough. You also need to change the lightness and darkness to really sink in the idea that there's volume and form in the head. And I'd also be thinking a little bit about how your warm and cools are going to play out um, to build form as well. So as far as getting a palette started for this, one of the first things you can do is just check out your wrist. The inside of your wrist can often show you a lot of the undertones that your skin tone has. So you might have golden skin tones, you might have um, pinkish skin tones, you might have deeper, stronger browns, you might have blues. So look at your veins, look at all those different subtle variations in color that you see whenever you're really analyzing your own skin and exaggerate those in your self-portrait. Your portrait has to compete with life, right? So a living human walking around, moving, has a ton of energy. But if you use just the bare bones of colors that you see without a little exaggeration in your two-dimensional drawing, you're not really going to create a sense of emphasis or energy in your subject. So it's okay to exaggerate. Do it. There's definitely some benefit to using like a deep purple shadow, right, instead of like a dark brown. So I'd start out with picking your palette. I've got some colors going here. I've got this blue. It's going to be like my shadow color because I've got a lot of blue in my skin. And then I've got this brown as kind of my next darkest color. <clears throat> I've got this light red to add some pinks. It's kind of peachy color. A more yellowy uh, peach and a white to be able to um, shift and change the tonality right so like with any drawing in our class you're gonna start with a gesture and I'm gonna start my gesture with brown because it's relatively neutral right it's gonna be easy to add colors on top of and around So I've got my handy mirror out, I'm gonna tilt my head, so I'm going three quarter. Thinking about volume in terms of the head, right? Neck and shoulders for grounding. Perspective in my features because my head is tilted. So my lips are gonna be a little bit foreshortened on the side of the face that turns away in space, right? And the same for the eye, the cheek as it moves around. So next step for you guys is I would look a little bit more closely at foreshortening and proportion before you really start to define. Once you've done that, then you can go in and start to develop your pattern of value, right? So think about using the cool colors and the dark colors to find the shapes of shadows and highlights.
once you've got some of those darker tones laid in, then you can add lighter tones on top. And I'm going to use a little bit of charcoal here to really push my intensity. So hopefully you're starting to see uh, form building and taking shape. As with any drawing with chalk pastel, the more you layer, the more colors tend to shift towards medium value and um, start to blend and go gray. So try to be fresh and direct. And if you are going to blend, be thoughtful about it, right? Don't blend too much because you'll lose a lot of the energy of your work. All right, guys, good luck. Happy drawing. Can't wait to see your results.